Dear Chairman, thank you for the invitation to present at the European Bifurcation Club meeting 2020. The title of my presentation is the difficult side branch wiring. One of the most important steps in bifurcation intervention is successful wiring of the side branch for treatment or for protection. Usually, this is performed without difficulty. However, in some anatomical subset and sometime after the stenting main vessel, side branch wiring is very challenging. To start with the simple tips and tricks, selecting the optimal view to better see the origin of side branch, selecting and shaping the appropriately the guide wire accordingly to side branch angulation, region morphology, and anatomy. The most uh, common types of guide wire tip shaping for bifurcation lesion are shown in this figure. However, there is no a standard guide wire shaping that can be recommended for each challenging side branch. Personal operator experience and uh, creativity sometimes can play an important role. Creativity is limited since shaping the wire uh, with the more curves is often translated in less maneuverability of the guide wire. After main vessel stenting, we all know that the proximal optimization technique facilitates correct crossing the stent uh, to side branch with a guide wire. But besides the, these simple tips and tricks, Different alternative techniques have been described based on case report or small studies, including personal operators' experiences. Balloon backstop, reverse wiring technique, double looming capter, venture capter, steered deflecting tip guide wire. Balloon backstop technique, balloon capter is advanced in main vessel. The balloon is placed soon distally to bifurcation and deflated at low pressure. Then a second wire is advanced to side branch this wire will be stopped by the inflated balloon and forced to be di directed elsewhere, that means toward the uh, orifice side branch, and uh, by gentle maneuver and gently turning of the wire, the wire can be advanced inside the branch as seen in these two uh, examples. However, this maneuver presents some limitation. Uh, of course, the inflation of a uh, balloon in main vessel will induce ischemia, and then this maneuver cannot be prolonged and even it's not recommended in some specific location of the bifurcation, like distal lift main or very proximal LAD bifurcation. Moreover, in deceased side branch can induce damage and dissection on side branch. Reverse wiring technique. The guide wire is smoothly curved to shape a large distal band, J-tip shape, and in some specific anatomical subset, like in extremely angled side branch, a hair pin band shaping at about five centimeters from the tip of the wire is more appropriate to engage side branch. Then shaped wire is advanced in the main vessel distally to bifurcation. The wire is pulled back to where the bifurcation due to the hawk-like band and the, dist the distal tip of the guide wire can engage uh, side branch orifice. When side branch is engaged, the wire is advanced uh, with a smooth uh, turning, a smooth maneuver uh, into the side branch. Dual lumen uh, catheter technique based on the uh, use of a dual lumen microcatheter, a rapid exchange lumen and over the wire lumen, over the wire lumen with a side exit at six to 10 millimeters from the tip of the catheter. Rapid exchange lumen is on the main vessel wire over the wire lumen is uh, to advance uh, a side branch wire. The catheter is advanced in main vessel to place the side the exit of over the wire lumen in front of side branch. Then a wire can be advanced to side branch into the over the wire lumen. Can also be used to deliver a wire with hairpin or other specific uh, band distally to bifurcation for uh, retrograde rewiring. Main limitation may be of limited value in extreme angulation or severe side branch osteostenosis, saying catheter orientation is not completely under control. We have a variety of uh, uh, microcatheter with the dual lumen, as you can see in this figure, like Queen uh, Twin Pass, Kaneka uh, Crusade, and uh, Azahi Suzuki, Findwo, and, and other, of course, are present in the 
in daily clinical practice. Venture caster, a 014 wire compatible caster with deflectable tip. The tip can be oriented and deflected up to 90 degrees and well controlled by a knob on the proximal handle of the caster. Catheter uh, tip uh, directed to side branch or di directly into the side branch and uh, then the wire can be advanced to side branch. Limitation uh, of uh, this caster is uh, uh, that require specific experience. Uh, tip deflection is uh, unpredictable in terms of direction, uh, cannot be used in relatively small vessel, and uh, risk of vessel injury with uh, deflection of the tip. Steering deflecting tip guide wire, 014 inch guide wire with the flexible radio pack platinum alloy core on the distal tip. Distal tip is deflectable bidirectionally by a proximal handle mechanism on the, on the uh, guide wire. Similar mechanism to the venture caster can be guided into severely angulated uh, uh, side branch. Limitation, uh, maneuverability of this wire can be much more difficult as compared to conventional wires and deflectable tip may predispose to vessel injury as described for uh, the venture uh, caster. Finally, uh, sometimes could be uh, could be necessary to predilate the main vessel. This is when, uh, particularly when we have a very tight lesion proximal to bifurcation of the main vessel, because uh, tight lesion and uh, proximally to the bifurcation can make it uh, more difficult to cross with the bended wire or to maneuver the bended uh, bended wire uh, to side branch. So predilatation with a small balloon at low pressure to create more space for bended wire to advance. Uh, following the main vessel dilatation, appropriately shaped wire can be tracked into the bifurcation uh, and uh, access to the side branch. In heavily calcified uh, lesion, rotablation with small bar, 1.25 or 1.5, uh, in main vessel can be performed instead of balloon predilatation. But uh, this maneuver is considered to be a last resort since it can carry uh, a high risk for plaque shifting, plaque dissection, and side branch occlusion. So coming to my take home message, uh, side branch wiring is essential in bifurcation intervention for uh, protection and for an optimal interventional approach, simple or complex. Side branch access can be technically challenging in different anatomical subsets, like extreme angulation, extreme tortuosity, severe side branch uh, disease. Given the variability of anatomical challenges, there is no a standard technique to access side branch. Good experience, appropriate uh, wire selection and shaping play an important role. The techniques described previously may be useful if used in the appropriate anatomical setting and with the required experience. Thank you very much for your attention.